Hello guys, so today I just want to show you one of my last projects I worked on. Uh, There's a pure C++ and Qt implementation of some performance widgets, that's the way I call them, where basically are some widgets that I use to show different performance of, the, of your computer, which can be CPU usage or RAM usage. So let me show you what it is. So this is a demo. Uh, program that I wrote, so you can find that in the main CPP, which it shows uh, the CPU, so you can actually see I have a quad core and uh, also the RAM usage uh, at the bottom. And now what I want to show you really quick how to use it, so uh, how the library is built, what are the, the features and so on. So if we dive into the source, we will see that we have different folders which is data query, painters and widgets. So uh, what I did, I created a basic performance widget uh, which allow you to build and assemble the final widget you want and that's what I use in order to build the ramp widget and the CPU widget. Uh, the widget in order to work needs two things uh, which are uh, a data query object and a painter object. So those two objects define the final behavior of your widget. So the data query uh, object implements the way you actually fetch the data you want to display. So in the, in the, the case of the CPU, I create a CPU uh, data query object which inherits, let me show you the header, so data query, CPU data query, so uh, which inherits from the abstract object data query and you need to re-implement the abstract method uh, get data, okay? So the get data uh, is abstract, so it means you have need to re-implement that and inside there you do whatever you want. So in this case I'm going to read a file on the disk which holds the, the CPU performance at that moment. So I pass the file, I do all my stuff and everything, okay? Same things for the, uh, if you want to implement the RAM, you, in that function, you implement the way to query how much RAM is used, how much is free, or if you want to do something for the GPU, you can do the same thing there. Okay, or disk usage, for example, whatever. And once you have that object, you can use the method on the performance widget, uh, widget, okay, which is, uh, let's see if I can find, set data query, and you pass a pointer to your object, okay? Once you did that, you're good to go. And the last thing you need is a way to paint your data. So once you have your data, you need to know how to display them, okay? So usually, the way I handle that is by passing a matrix of data. So for example, uh, if it is for the CPU, I'm passing an, uh, a matrix where each row represents the data of each core. So if I have a quad core, I will have eight rows, actually nine, because I'm actually passing an extra row, which is the average of all of them, okay? So again, same way, in order to create the, the painter, let's see, painter, here we go, you need to inner it from the performance painter, which is the abstract class, and then you can implement different painters. For example, I implement a bars painter, which is the one you can see here for the ROM. Or you can implement a graph painter, which is the one I'm using for the, the CPU right now. Okay? Uh, so that's the basic thing, and we can have a quick look, for example, in the main CPP, or actually main Windows CPP, we can see we have the widget, which is actually the CPU widget. We can change how I want to display the data. So right now I'm using the graph. What I, what I can do is change that to bars, and under the hood is going to switch on the fly the painter, let me build it and let me run it. It's going to switch the painter and now it's going to paint bars instead of graph. You can see that. Okay. And there are, of course, uh, uh, heavily documented so you can see what are the options. You can actually change the speed of which uh, the widget gets evaluated. So if you want a, a slower feedback, 
uh, or a faster feedback you can change that of course okay so this is the the basic behavior for that you can find the the documentation on my github page and so you, it's a doxygen documentation so you can see everything there are images so it should be uh, extremely clear what to do but please uh, send me back any feedback you might have so or how you will have implemented that like everything any kind of feedback design feedback or error report bug report anything you might want to it's all much appreciated okay guys so that's it for now and uh, see you in the next demo bye